all of us been really, really eager to to be here to see what uh, the university looks like and how's how's everything here. You are going to feel pain, but but I think also that you'll remember it as 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 uh, as something unique. Minds Wide Open was not Minds Wide Open when we started working on this project. It started way before even um, the president of the university announced that 2015 was going to be the year of China. It's been, it's been a process. I mean, the first day was all just like trying to understand. Pretty much the whole first day was just understanding the brief and understanding the problem that we needed to solve. Your client's problem is we need this openness to diversity. You have a disadvantage on the cultural side, but you have an advantage that you can actually, you know, you bring full-blown Chinese concept. It has to be so good that it provokes people in spite of themselves. In the teaser campaign, does something happen or is it just a message? It needs to be something enough that people are going to engage and not just be like, I don't care what this is about. I thought it was an immersive cultural experience. As a university, we really cherish international friendship and collaborations. But this was not a study abroad program where we took our students abroad. Instead, we brought students to our campus and gave our students a chance to interact with them very well. We do concerts. We do live concerts on the elevator. If it's seven individuals, but somehow you have to come together. People are writing in Chinese, and I've been writing in English, and we're, tra we're translating it back and forth. It's like ni hao and hello. Yeah, yeah. So like, it's like, not that important that we don't say that people are bowing and high yeah. five, you know? Yeah, so this is like me talking to the audience. Yeah. Oh, OK, OK. It, it's great fun to watch. It really is. I, I walked around from room to room watching these students work. and. It's fascinating because there was a language barrier in a lot of cases, as well as a cultural barrier, and yet they found ways to work. Maybe we make Jackie Chan run back to here. Oh, okay. You know, funny, so he's running away from the United States. Yeah, well, what he told me yesterday is just to make it really small so you like, can barely see it even, you know? It was really hard work, but I think in the end, um, there is n nothing that compares to an experiential experience uh, different than the typical day-to-day -day classroom work. Through international travel, you get an appreciation for other cultures. And we, we become broad-minded, and we're open to new ideas. And this has to happen from the very early stages in one's career. And as an undergrad, when we students send students abroad, that experience is something special. You cannot simulate it in a classroom setting. We have a number of universities around the country uh, that come to the one show, but nobody's actually taken this initiative and done something this great and dramatic to connect both Chinese students and the US students. And I think it's, it's a huge step forward. It's, it's really just showing um, leadership you know, in this area. MSU 跟 One Show 已经合作了两年了，然后就是每年MSU都会带更多学生进去，然后所以他就说从来就没有像一个学校，像我们学校这样一样，然后可以有这么深度的合作，然后他希望就是我们学校两个有更，就是我们这个活动和我们学校有更